Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good, and good afternoon, Sister Sunshine. How the fuck are you? I uh, wanted to do a quick video response to um, this thing going on between you and Mel's basket case and her. She, you know, she got a little bit upset because you chose the words lefty queer and, and this and that. Now, let me say right out of the fucking gate here that I've never really been a big fan of the whole PC ideology. Now, I'll touch on this briefly because a couple of people on YouTube made videos recently, Only When Provoked, and um, that atheist gal did some videos on this. And they said that it was all about being polite. You know, what's the big deal in not using fucking racial slurs and not calling a homosexual a faggot? You know, these sorts of things. Isn't it just fucking polite not to treat people like shit? It not it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But that's really not what the politically correct issue is really about. That's not the heart of it. Um, people who want to change the way people talk have this, like, notion in their head that when you change the way people communicate, you change their ideas. And that's just not true. Um, George Carlin did, like, a whole fucking um, stand-up session on this very topic. And I'll post it over there if I can find it. I'll put it over there for you to watch and really consider. Changing the language does not change the way people look at the world. It, it only changes the way they talk about it. And, and that's not really going to serve to reduce the amount of bigotry that there is in this world. It, it's only going to make it more difficult uh, to spot people who really are comfortable being bigots. They feel justified in their bigotry. And that's what I want to talk to you, Sister Sunshine, about directly. You know, it was really, really depressing watching your fucking video. I've actually been thinking about it for like a day and a half now. You know, it just, it, it keeps replaying over and over in my head. This one thing, one fucking thing that you said in your video. And you said, you know, I used those words to express my disgust with the actions of this man who had killed another person, right? That, that, that was your reasoning behind why you said what you did. Well, Sister Sunshine, I hate to break this to you, but anyone um, who's even, like, slightly intelligent, okay, and I just happen to fall into that category, they're going to see right through your bullshit. You didn't use the, the words lefty queers or queer or whatever it was because you were upset that this guy had killed someone. No, 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 no. That's the excuse that you gave because you feel a little bit guilty about using that terminology, right? Because when you can't really justify your bigotry logically, then you have to make up excuses for why you're talking like that. So your excuse was, well, this guy killed somebody. Well, if, if you were disgusted with that action, your communication would have reflected your disgust with that action. But your communication didn't reflect that. Your communication reflected the fact that you were more disgusted with the idea that he was a queer, a homosexual, someone who has different kind of sex than you do. And, and that's really what disgusted you the most. Not that he actually killed someone. I believe, based on your communication, that you were more disgusted with the idea that this guy was gay than you were with the fact that he fucking killed somebody. Now, never mind the circumstances under which he smothered the guy to death. That really doesn't concern me. You know, it's something between those two. And my, my point is, is that even you are trying to dip and dodge around your own bullshit. It's really sad to watch. Um, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Stop trying to justify your bigotry. You are a member of a religion, Sister Sunshine, that teaches that essentially you are the righteous, and these guys that and, and males and females that have different sex than you do are wicked and dirty. They're sodomites and queers and homos and fags. And, and that's the way, and you look down on these people. Don't pretend like you did in this video that your fucking Christianity is like uh, responsible for all the peace and happiness in the goddamn world because quite frankly, your religion is responsible for just the opposite. It's responsible for a lot of fucking separation and hatred in this fucking world. And, and there's nothing good about it. Nothing good about it at all. And I understand that all you modern day Christian apologists are nothing more than like public relations directors for your religion. 
but it, you, you really got, it, it's like trying to be a good publicist for O.J. Simpson a, after he killed his wife. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, you're never going to successfully do this. All right? Stop trying to justify your bigotry and just say, I'm Sister Sunshine, I'm a Christian, I'm a dogmatist, and because of that, I'm a bigot. And, and then, yeah, people are, are not going to respect you for it. Welcome to the world that is slowly becoming more rational. It, it, people are no longer going to respect you for it. Sorry. You're just going to have to deal with that if you want to be a dogmatist. Anyway, peace.